Simple Peter's Mirror from Fairy Tales by Terry Jones. Simple Peter was walking to work in the fields one morning when he met an old woman sitting beside the road. Good morning, old woman, he said. Why do you look so sad? I've lost my ring, said the old woman, and it is the only one like it in the whole world. I'll help you find it, said Simple Peter, and he got down on his hands and knees to look for the old woman's ring. Well, he hunted for a long time, until at last he found the ring under a leaf. Thank you, said the old woman. That ring is more precious than you realize, and she slipped it on her finger. Then she took a mirror out of her apron and gave it to Peter, saying, Take this as a reward. Now, Sybil Peter had never seen a mirror before, and so, when he looked down and saw the reflection of the sky in his hands, he said, Have you given me the sky? No, said the old woman, and explained what it was. What do I want with a mirror? asked Peter. That is no ordinary meter, replied the old woman. It is a magic mirror. Anyone who looks into it will see themselves not as they are, but as other people see them. And that's a great gift, you know, to see ourselves as others see us. Simple Peter held the mirror up to his face and peered into it. First he turned one way, then he turned the other way. He held the mirror sideways and long ways and upside down, and finally he shook his head and said, Well, it may be a magic mirror, but it's no good to me. I can't see myself in it at all. The old woman smiled and said, The mirror will never lie to you. It will show you a true reflection of yourself as other people see you. And with that, she touched her ring, and the oak tree that was standing behind her bent down and picked her up in its branches and carried her away. Well, simple, si simple Peter stood there gaping for a long while, and then he looked in the mirror again, and still he could not see himself, even when he put his nose right up against it. Just then, a farmer came riding past on his way to market. Excuse me, said Simple Peter, but have you seen my reflection? I can't find it in the mirror. Oh, said the farmer, I saw it half an hour ago, running down the road. Thank you, said Peter, I'll see if I can catch it. And he ran off down the road. The farmer laughed and said to himself, That Simple Peter is a proper goose and he went on his way. Simple Peter ran on and on until he came to the blacksmith. Where are you running so fast, Peter? called the blacksmith. I'm trying to catch my reflection, replied Peter. John the farmer said it ran this way. Did you see it? The blacksmith, who was a kindly man, shook his head and said, John the farmer has been telling you stories. Your reflection can't run away from you. Look in the mirror and you'll see it there all right. So Peter looked in the mirror and do you know what he saw? He saw a goose with a yellow beak and black eyes staring straight back at him. There, do you see your reflection? asked the blacksmith. I only see a goose, said Peter. But I'm not a goose. I'll show you all. I'll seek my fortune, and then you'll see me as I really, really am. So Peter set off to seek his fortune. Before long, he came to a wild place in the mountains where he met a woodcutter and his family with all their belongings on their backs. <coughs> where are you going? he asked them. We're leaving this country, said the woodcutter, because there is a dragon here. It is fifty times as big as a man and could eat you up in one mouthful. Now it has carried off the king's daughter and is going to eat her for supper tonight. And with that, 
they hurried on their way. Peter went on, and the mountains grew steeper, and the way became harder. All at once he heard a sound like a grindstone. He looked round a rock, and there he saw the dragon. Sure enough, it was fifty times as big as himself, and it was spinning a stone round in its front claws to sharpen its teeth. Oh, ho! are you the dragon? asked Peter. The dragon stopped sharpening its teeth and glared with great fierce eyes at Peter. Indeed, said the dragon, and the spines on its back started to bristle and tongues of flame began to leap out of its nostrils. And how are you going to kill me? And Peter said, Oh, I'm not, but behind this rock I have the most terrible creature that is 50 times as big as you and could eat you up in one mouthful. Impossible, roared the dragon and leapt behind the rock. Now Peter, who was not so simple after all, had hidden the magic mirror there, and so when the dragon came leaping around the rock, it ran slap bang into it. And there, for the first time, it saw itself as it appeared to others, fifty times as big and able to eat itself up in one mouthful. And then, and there, that dragon turned on its tail and ran off over the mountains as fast as it could and was never seen again. Then Peter went into the dragon's cave and found the king's daughter and carried her back to the palace. And the king gave him jewels and fine clothes, and all the people cheered him to the skies. And when Peter looked in the magic mirror now, do you know what he saw? He saw himself as a brave, fierce lion, which was how everyone else saw him. But he said to himself, I'm not a lion, I'm Peter. Just then the princess came by, and Peter showed her the mirror and asked her what she saw there. I see the most beautiful girl in the world, said the princess, but I'm not the most beautiful girl in the world. But that's how you appear to me, said Peter. And he told the princess the whole story about how he had come by the mirror and how he had tricked the dragon. So you see... I'm not really a goose, and I'm not really as brave as a lion. I'm just simple Peter. When the princess heard his story, she began to like him for his straightforwardness and honesty. Pretty soon, she grew to love him, and the king agreed that they should be married, even though Peter was just a poor plowman's son. But my dear, said the queen, people will make fun of us because he is not a real prince. Fiddlesticks, replied the king. We'll make him into the finest prince you ever did see. But the old queen was right. On the day of the wedding, Peter was dressed up in the finest clothes, trimmed with gold and fur. But when he looked in the magic mirror, do you know what he saw? Instead of a rich and magnificent prince, he saw himself in his own rags, simple Peter. But it didn't worry him. He smiled and said to himself, at last, everyone sees me as I really am.